Hi everyone, Dr. Sonia Jensen from Divine Elements. Um, I just wanted to kind of continue along with uh, Dr. Nick's theme of detox and how we can relate that to our hormones, um, especially for women and um, how testosterone plays a really important role in our well-being. When we think about testosterone, we only think about men, right? That being a hormone for men, but really for us women, it has a lot of different functions. Um, one being uh, sex drive. The other one is, um, it kind of gives us our zest for life. So when we have more of that zest for life, we are, it uplifts our mood and influences a lot of decisions that we make. So it has a huge role in our uh, well-being and overall health. And testosterone can get influenced by many different factors. And how we can link that to detoxification is a glycoprotein called um, sex hormone binding globulin. So what this protein does, it actually takes the testosterone that's in our body and helps to transport it. When you're getting your hormones tested, when you go to a um, medical doctor or even some NDs or some of your other health practitioners, they may only test estrogen and progesterone and that doesn't give us the full picture. So what you want to be looking for is estrogen, progesterone, free testosterone because that is a testosterone that's available for your cells to actually take that in and utilize it for what we need. And you want to be looking at sex hormone binding globulin. So this SHBG, the way um, it increases in our bodies is if our liver isn't detoxifying properly. So, you know, Dr. Nick was talking a lot in this last couple of weeks about detoxification and how important it is and how we're exposed to these toxins daily from what we put on our skin in the morning to the toothpaste that we're using, to the laundry detergent, to the foods that we're taking in, they all um, task our liver. So if the liver is bombarded with these toxins, it's harder for it to do its job. And this is another job that it has to do is manage our hormones. And one of the other ways that a sex hormone binding globulin increases in our body is through stress. So who out there isn't stressed, right? And as soon as our cortisol goes up, so does this hormone. And this hormone has a real affinity for testosterone and that's why it decreases. And you may know, you know a woman going through menopause and a lot of women that are shifting and transitioning into that phase in their life end up going on antidepressants. But what we're actually seeing is it's not a problem with depression, it's really a problem with testosterone. And yes, there is true depression, you know, there are the factors in life that influence our mental health, so it's important to look at that aspect too, but this is also an avenue that you want to look at so that we're not missing anything, and testosterone plays a huge role in that. So again, reiterating testosterone for women, it's, you know, it's for our sex drive, it's for our zest for life and it's for lean muscle so it's not just a male hormone you want to make sure that your hormones are balanced at all levels not just at one so if you have questions about this please um, comment below we're here to serve you um, it's kind of a tricky topic when it comes to hormones right there's a lot of things going on but uh, we're here to help. So if you're going to the doctors, you're getting your hormones tested, please do not forget to test these hormones, sex hormone binding globulin and free testosterone, and then estrogen and progesterone, because they're all linked together. So I will be doing some more posts on hormonal health, but I just wanted to give you a little tidbit about um, how important this is, because you know, with women, there's a triad when it comes to hormonal health. There's the thyroid, which I call it the queen, right? The queen's not happy, nothing's happy. And then we have our adrenal glands, and then we have our ovaries. The adrenals are the king. So really, there's, there's communication happening between all of these systems. And one of that communication is through testosterone and through this sex hormone binding globulin because it's transporting it everywhere. And we have receptors all over our body for this hormone. So again, it's really important and linking it back to detoxification, if our liver isn't working, we then aren't able to access that testosterone that we have in our body and our cells can't use it up. So that's where that cell detoxification is so important so that we can actually use the information that the hormone is giving us and actually have that zest for life because we deserve it, right? So again, if you have any other que any questions, please um, write them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them and we're here to support you.